Hello, my name is Steve Collin, Vice President of Marketing for Huawei's Enterprise Networking product line. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the AR G3 series of router, branch routers which are designed for the multi-service era. In today's presentation, I'm going to be talking to you about four areas. First, I'll begin by talking about the trends and challenges in branch networking. Then, I'll talk to you about the overall capabilities of the G3 platform. I'll move next to look at the specific models of ARG3 router, and I'll end by talking to you about use cases for the product and some customers that we've deployed the ARG3 into. So let's begin by looking at the trends and challenges in branch networking. There's one trend in particular I'd like to highlight. The branch can now be connected to the enterprise network by a range of alternative technologies. Traditional lease lines have been complemented by PON, passive optical network links, with a high bandwidth of up to 10 megabits a second. Within the branch, end users now benefit from a range of access technologies. LTE, long-term evolution wireless, and 3G, 4G wireless provide far superior access bandwidth to traditional 2G technology. WLAN using MIMO, multiple input and multiple output, can also provide rapid deployment and access bandwidths of up to 100 megabits a second. That's through the use of multiple antennas at both the transmitter and receiver to improve communication performance. It offers significant increases in data throughput and also in range without needing increased transmit power. Now let's move on and look at the overall capabilities of the ARG3 family. Huawei's first router was introduced in 1996. Since 1996, the G3 has added interface connectivity options, multiple services such as voice and VPN, and the platform architecture has continually improved from a shared bus to a multi-bus with a coprocessor. And then in 2011, the G3 was introduced, featuring a distributed service processing architecture and an open service platform. We're going to be looking at both of those capabilities today. The ARG3 router today has three capabilities that differentiate it. Today's G3 product has three capabilities which differentiate it. First, it offers industry-leading 2x the competition performance with its multi-core design, 160 gigabits per second of switching capacity and non-blocking forwarding. It provides multiple wired and wireless interface options for both inter- and intra-site connectivity and it's very much an all-in-one integrated solution, offering routing, switching, and services. Services which might be offered by Huawei, or might even be offered by a third-party developer. Let's pause for a second and think about the characteristics of the G3 router that give it the performance and flexibility that make it so powerful. That's made possible by its third-generation architecture which is characterized by a multi-core processor, a non-blocking switching fabric, component redundancy, and the ability to hot-swap components. Using its third-generation architecture, the ARG3 is able to achieve a number of significant advantages. Up to 3.5 million packets per second, consistent performance on the LAN and WAN with services such as QoS, quality of service enabled, and that's a level of performance our competitors just can't match. It means our customers have the performance they need now and in the future. I'd like to consider the third generation architecture of the ARG3 in a little bit more detail. The AR provides component redundancy, such as power and SRU. All system modules are hot swappable. Bidirectional forwarding detection BFD is a network protocol used to detect faults between forwarding engines connected by a link. It provides low overhead, millisecond level detection of faults. Finally, the AR can be stacked with LAN switches to simplify network topology and to achieve fast convergence and reliability, 
and using a distributed architecture avoids any single point of hardware failure. Now let's look at the high availability capabilities of the G3. Huawei is a leader in wireless technology and the ARG3 takes advantage of that expertise. It can support three 3G standards, including WCDMA, CDMA 2000 EVDO, TD SCDMA. It's also LTE ready. Meanwhile, the AR supports a variety of methods to guarantee a high quality user experience while on the network, such as real time monitoring of link status using its NQA function to ensure the high quality of wireless services, link binding, and automatic band searching. Security is absolutely mandatory in an enterprise branch, and the ARG3 delivers a range of robust, strong security capabilities. The G3 provides a range of VPN and security capabilities. First, SSL VPN. This can also reduce deployment and maintenance costs, and, being based on TCP UDP, supports NAT traversal, which further simplifies server configuration. Second, DSVPN, Dynamic Smart VPN, which reduces the load on the hub router, especially in large enterprise VPN networks. It also supports IP multicast, dynamic routing, and NAT traversal, and also voice video and non-IP traffic. As the egress router of an enterprise, the AR is the first guard of the enterprise's internal resources. And as such, it offers an integrated firewall, IPS and IDS, and antivirus. The ARG3 router has embedded voice capabilities that differentiate it from its competitors. The AR provides integrated PBX functions and a wide variety of voice interfaces like FSX, FSO, E1, and ISDN. It handles connections from phones, fax terminals, and also legacy PBXs. It supports 128 phone lines via DSP encoding and guarantees high-quality voice services through QoE and through a local SIP server. In addition to basic call functions, the ARG3 also supplies rich, value-add voice services like IVR and also call hunt groups. The ARG3 supports the open service platform, an open platform for the integration of third-party applications. The ARG3 supports the innovative OSP or open service platform. With the OSP, an AR router has the capability to support and run third-party applications that might be developed by Huawei, third-party developers, or even by an enterprise itself. With the support of OSP, the ARG3 router is truly an enterprise iPhone. We've tried to make the AR highly deployable to ease installation and maintenance for our customers. Here's one example. The ARG3 supports TR069, which enables zero-touch management. TR069 is an application layer protocol for the remote management of devices. It provides communication between customer premise equipment and auto configuration servers, also known as ACS. With TR069, the ARG3 reduces deployment and maintenance costs through batch dispatch of configurations to branch routers, and through the auto-updating of router configurations. TR069 also enables status monitoring of the network, which eases the task of network management for the enterprise IT department. Having considered some of the capabilities of the AR platform, I'd now like to look at the different models in a little bit more detail. Let's begin with an overview of the different ARG3 models that you might deploy in a Soho environment, in a small office, a home office, or a large or medium branch office. First, an overview. Huawei offers a number of branch routers, 
The 150 and 200 models are for small office home office use. The 1200 is for small enterprise branches. The 2200 is for medium sized branches. While the 3200 is the top of the line enterprise branch router for either an HQ or a regional office. Now, they're differentiated by performance, the number of interfaces they support, their memory size, and also by the level of functionality that they support. Let's begin by looking at the Soho Enterprise branch router, the 150 and 200 series. Let's start with a look at the 150 and 200 models. This is a fixed configuration product for Soho use, as I mentioned. They offer up to 450,000 packets per second of forwarding and 150 megabits per second of throughput. They have a fixed WAN interface, four or eight fixed LAN interfaces, which also support PoE on some models. And there is also fixed voice ports on the 207 model. The 1220 is the next model up in the series. It's designed specifically for a small office environment. The 1220 is for small enterprise branches. It provides up to 450,000 packets per second and 200 megabits per second of throughput across the WAN. It has embedded Wi-Fi, 802.11b, g and n. It has a built-in PBX. It also provides two gigabit ethernet uplink ports and eight fast Ethernet LAN ports, four of which support PoE by default. Furthermore, it has two SIC slots, which can be used to insert other interface cards, such as DSL, 3G, voice, and Ethernet. Compared to its competitors, the voice support, eight embedded FE ports, and the performance really make it stand out. And here's a picture of the back of the 1220 product. Let's see what it has to offer. Here's a rear view of the 1200 product. You can see the six slots. You can also see the fixed GE and FE ports and of course the wireless capabilities. The 2200 is designed for the mid-range of the enterprise market. Let's have a look at the 2200's hardware specification. It includes two models, the 20 and the 40. The 20 is a 1RU product. It has a single fixed gig e port and an extra two combo ports that combine gig e and WAN interfaces. It supports four SIC slots, two W6 slots, and one DSP slot. The 40 model is 2RU high. Its performance is higher, up to 3.5 million packets a second, 80 gig switching performance, and up to 1,800 megabits per second across the WAN. And its interface capacity is also higher. It supports two X6 slots and up to three DSP slots. The architecture of the AR platform is really interesting. Let's have a look at the cards that it supports. We call them the SIC, the WSIC and the XSIC. And they integrate together in a pretty interesting way. Let's look at the SIC, WSIC and XSIC cards in more detail. Two SIC cards can be combined into a WSIC. Two WSICs can then be combined into an XSIC. You can see the high level of modularity and flexibility offered by the AR platform. The AR3200 is the high end of the family. It's designed for a regional office or even an HQ environment. The 3200 is the high end model of the enterprise branch router range. This would typically be deployed in an HQ site or in a regional head office. It has the option of dual controller cards as well as providing a very high level of both voice, video and data performance. Integrated Layer 2 switching on the ARG3 series significantly reduces deployment costs and also simplifies network design and deployment. Through its high-speed switch fabric, the ARG3 supports Layer 2 and Layer 3 line speed forwarding and up to 24 gigabit Ethernet ports. You can see the wide range of interface combinations on the slide. While PoE, Power Over Ethernet, via the 802.3f standard, supports further simplification of deployments. It's the same story on the WAN. 
where the platform supports a wide range of wide area network interfaces. The ARG3 supports a wide range of interface types, lease lines, passive optical networking, and more. And here we see the range of voice modules that are supported by the AR platform. Analog support via four port FXS and one port FXO modules, a channelized E1 module that can work in both voice or data modes, a two port ISDN voice card, and DSP support for up to 128 VoIP or voice over IP channels. Now I've showed you the technical capabilities of the product and I've also showed you the specific models of ARG3 that are available. I want to switch now and have a look at the deployment use cases of the product and also to give you some examples of customers who have actually used it. Here I've tried to summarize the five typical use cases for ARG3 deployment. First, LAN egress and WAN access, where security, VPN, and a wide range of LAN and WAN interfaces are key. Next, 3G backup, for high availability where the primary WAN link fails. Third, VPN gateway, where hardware-based encryption ensures strong security and high performance. And then finally, use of the AR as a voice gateway, where extensive and intelligent voice features combined with management and emulation tools guarantee a good end-user voice experience. The ambulance service of New South Wales in Australia is our first customer example. They service nearly 7 million people across a very large geographical area. They chose the AR to provide WAN connectivity to remote ambulance stations and more than 1,500 vehicles. The solution proved both reliable, high performance and cost effective. And now let's turn to Sinopec gas stations in China where the ARG3, specifically the 1200 model, was used to provide some very specific deployment benefits to the customer. Now let's consider Sinopec gas stations. They chose the AR1220 as an integrated solution for gas station connectivity for data, voice, security, routing, switching and VPN. The multi-service capabilities of the product combined with high real-world performance ensured a smooth deployment. I really hope you enjoyed the overview of the ARG3 router. It was my pleasure to bring it to you.